it might seem strange uh, thinking about your bones when you have liver disease, um, but I hope to show you why it's important to think about our bones if we have primary biliary cholangitis. We will all have heard about osteoporosis, which is very common um, in the general population. It's a condition where you get thinning of the bones. Um, it predominantly affects women rather than men, and the reason for this is that peak bone mass um, is higher in men than women, um, and our bone mass peaks around the age of 40 um, and then falls as we get older, um, and particularly falls postmenopausal. For that reason, you could argue that um, osteoporosis is actually a disease of ageing. Uh, an example of that is if you take women at the age of um, 50, then about two in a hundred in the general population will have evidence of osteoporosis. But by the age of 80, that is increased to five in a 50 in every hundred, uh, i.e. one in two of us will have evidence of osteoporosis. Why is osteoporosis important? Well, it's one of the risk factors for breaking bones and getting fractures. This includes traumatic, traumatic fractures or fractures of consequence of falling, such as hip fractures, fractures of the wrist, which are known as collis fractures. But you can also get um, fractures of the spine, um, which often aren't related to trauma um, and can cause chronic back pain over years uh, and deformity of the spine. Um, osteoporosis is just one risk factor for getting fractures. Uh, the other is having a low body mass index um, and also um, taking steroids. How do we diagnose osteoporosis? Well, the way to diagnose this is by what's called a DEXA scan. This is a very simple scan. It involves lying on a radiology table for anything between um, 10 to 20 minutes. Um, it's not claustrophobic. Um, and involves giving very small um, dose of radiation. Um, so it's a bit like going for a chest x-ray. So turning now to primary biliary cholangitis, um, there's been a great debate over the years about whether osteoporosis is more common in those of us that have primary biliary cholangitis. Um, and that's simply because osteoporosis um, is a disease we see mainly in women, um, in older women. And we know that the um, um, common age of presentation of primary biliary cholangitis is 40 or older, um, and it's very much a condition that we see predominantly in women. However, there is now good evidence that actually it is more prevalent in the condition. The main group of individuals who have a particularly high risk of getting osteoporosis are those individuals with primary biliary cholangitis who have advanced liver fibrosis or cirrhosis. Um, there was a study done around 10 years ago looking at individuals who were going for transplant assessment and assessing their bone health. Um, and individuals with primary biliary cholangitis, 38%, uh, so almost a third of them had evidence of osteoporosis. Whereas um, when you looked at fractures, uh, then about 20% or one in five had had a fracture as a consequence of having osteoporosis. So I don't think there's any doubt if you have advanced liver disease or cirrhosis, then it is worth getting bone mineral density checked to look for um, uh, evidence of osteoporosis. As I said, the data around those of us who've got less liver scarring secondary to primary biliary cholangitis is less clear, but there now has been a very nice study done in Nottingham looking at over 930 uh, individuals with PBC and comparing it to 9,000 um, individuals in the general population and showing that osteoporosis was um, increased by twofold in those with primary biliary cholangitis. So less um, frequent in those with advanced liver disease, but is more prevalent. Um, and therefore it is reasonable if, um, particularly for postmenopausal women uh, with primary biliary cholangitis to have their bone mineral checked. Um, as I said, in if you are fibrotic liver, um, you should have your bone mineral density checked if you're a man or a woman with primary biliary cholangitis. The other group of individuals, it's just worth mentioning, there are a small number of individuals with primary biliary cholangitis who have an overlap with autoimmune liver disease and have to take uh, corticosteroids. And we know that steroids, in addition to osteoporosis, increase the risk of fractures. So anyone who's taking corticosteroids with primary biliary cholangitis, again, should get their bone mineral density checked. 
What happens if you're diagnosed as having primary uh, biliary cholangitis and osteoporosis? Well, the first thing is to say all the medication that we use to manage osteoporosis in the general population is perfectly safe to take if you have osteoporosis and PBC. And that will include um, uh, drugs such as bisphosphonates, which are often taken as an oral tablet uh, once a week, um, or tablets, medication that is given as an infusion uh, once a year. Um, and then there is another medication that is given uh, every six months as an injection in the skin called denizumab, um, and all perfectly safe to take. Um, the oral contraceptive pill or oestrogens used to be used um, historically um, to treat osteoporosis. It's used less now than it used to be, but again, oestrogens are perfectly safe to take uh, if you have um, osteoporosis and PBC. The only group I would say needs some caution um, if you have advanced liver disease and have large varices or the veins that occur at the bottom of the esophagus, um, or you've had varices that have bled, then it's probably worth just avoiding the bisphosphonate tablet that you take once a week, as occasionally that can sit at the bottom of the esophagus um, and cause ulceration. If you've had your bone mineral density checked and you have no evidence of osteoporosis, then it's worth getting your bone mineral density repeated um, um, every three years if you're cirrhotic and between every three to five years um, if you don't have cirrhosis. So in conclusion, I think if you have PBC and advanced liver fibrosis, really important to have your bone mineral density checked, whether you're a man or you're a woman. If you have non-cirrhotic or less mild fibrosis in the liver as a consequence of the PBC, then it is, I think, if you're a postmenopausal woman, um, important to have your bone mineral density checked.